I'm Mark Dickens. I oversee uh, Chevy's high performance vehicles. First brought out the ZR2, and the ZR2 took the Colorado to new, new bounds. We, we looked at it as an ability to do rock crawling, desert running, as well as great daily driving. And here today we were actually showing the Bison, the Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison, where it really takes the truck even further down what we call the overlanding segment. And it kind of brings in a lot of like a hardware that would protect the vehicle for heavy duty off-roading. All the way starting from the front, we actually have a steel front bumper. And all this, the front bumpers and all these components that are introduced here was co-developed with American Expedition Vehicles, who is, a, is an authority in the off-road world, it's particularly in this overland segment. And they have a vast knowledge and background in these steel uh, armatures, so I call them, the, the skid plates, bumpers, and uh, fender flares, wheels. So starting from the front, uh, steel bumper, actually have uh, provisions for a winch. Uh, steel tube you, gives you the ability to walk into a rock if you need to and actually push the front end up and get up and over. The same suspension as the ZR2, you got the da dynamic spool valve dampers. A design wheel from um, American Expedition Vehicles and it's got that rugged structured look to it. Uh, fender flares that come out another inch to get that wider coverage for the tires. The standard ZR2 rock sliders, these are great. They're designed to actually take a rock right underneath of that and carry the body weight down, all the way down the length of it. Underneath the vehicle, there's five boron steel skid plates. We cover everything right from that front bumper all the way back, covered underneath the transmission, transfer case, the uh, even all the way to the fuel tanks protected for anything that we might get up and gouge into the fuel tank. And the rear differential, there's a skid plate around the differential to protect the differential as well. And then all the way back to the rear, steel bumper on the rear with retention points for recovery. And same thing with this, these corner tubular steel things. When you start getting out to places like the Rubicon or Moab and you're up on a 45 degree angle, this allows you to push off that back corner of the vehicle without doing any damage. So fundamentally, from the front to the back, it's, a, it's an armor package for a, a Colorado ZR2. And it's been a great partnership with American Expedition Vehicles. It's a great looking truck and taking the ZR2 into a further level. The base truck, uh, it's based off of a ZR2. And the option package is 5750 off of a ZR2. So that puts the gas engine starting at right around a little over $48,000. V6 comes in the gas, and the, the cool thing about this, it's also available in a diesel, and overlanders really like that diesel. It gives you the extended range, the high torque carrying capability, allows them to pull a trailer and carry heavy loads at the same time. And that comes with a six-speed and an eight-speed transmission. 